my channel Alex here if you've never seen these big old cheeks before then do go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you leave so for today's video I have my monthly Alex adores for the month of July now I I'm surprised at myself because I don't have that many makeup favorites I have been doing so many other things that I've been loving so many other things right and I actually have a fashion pieces for you this month and I'm excited to share them so let's get started the first thing I want to share with you are some t-shirts that I picked up from American Eagle and these are super duper soft they are amazing they are perfect loungewear pieces and let me get the full name for you they're the American Eagle soft and sexy v-neck shirt and I have two of them I bought two because I wanted to try them out and I will definitely be getting more of them I have this one in the army green color you probably saw that in a recent video I did but this do you see how stretchy it is it's supposed to have this loungy relaxed type of fit so I got it in a large just so it could have that type of fit but if I wanted to go down to a medium I could do that and this would still fit so I got it in this army green color they had a ton of colors but I just was like I love that one because that can go with my gray tights it can go with my black tights like I just was trying to think about what I have loungewear ish that can work with them and I also got this pink tie-dye one this one is so pretty so so pretty again the stretch is phenomenal <laughs> I love these so much they're super duper soft um, they go in the wash really well they don't like stretch out or anything or shrink or anything like that but these feel so good so so good do you see that pink against my skin that is literally what I picked this up like I was in the store yes I went in the store for these um, but I'll put links to everything that I talk about today in the description box so you can grab them online if you want but I went in the store for these and look how I did literally did this in the mirror and I was like oh oh okay going home with me so yeah I got this color and it's so pretty and they are a good length as you can see here they do have that rounded hem so you don't have to worry um, about it not covering your butt because it's gonna cover your butt because see it's extended so I love that about these these are really really great um, I did purchase a short from American Eagle just to test out what their shorts are like um, I just got one for now but if I end up liking it I'll definitely do a shorts haul so let me know in the comment section if you want to see something like that like a summer shorts haul I think that'll be really really great the next up I have two underwear pieces yes I know don't be freaked out don't be weirded out and they're from Victoria's Secret I have been living in these on the, the well the bra on the days that I decide to wear a bra because let's be real we're all at home and a lot of us don't wear a bra during the day I don't every single day sorry it's a thing but this particular bra when I do feel like putting on a bra I throw this on because it's really really comfortable I'll put up a picture somewhere on one of these sides so you guys can see it because I'm wearing it now <laughs> that's how comfortable it is it is called the Sexy Illusions. It's really long, so I have to read this. Sexy Illusions by Victoria's Secret Sheer Luxe Unlined Demi Bra. That's a really, really, really long name. <laughs> but it's really, really sexy and it's very, very comfortable. There are no like padded cups to deal with. It's like this mesh type of thing going on. And then there's just a little bit of a, I think this is a wire. Is this a wire? No, this is a, this is a plastic that's under here that's holding up my boobs. It's very, very comfortable. It comes in a couple of colors. I'm trying to count them, but I know they're probably sold out of a couple of other colors too. So far I'm on the site and it has three, six, it has like eight colors up. So that's really good. I'm wearing mine in a 38 double D and the fit is really good. I don't have any issues with it. The band or straps are adjustable, so you can always do that. Yes, it has, yeah, this is underwear. That's what it's called. Um, back hook and eye closure on um, mine has, I think because I'm in the double D range, that's why it has like three of them. So security is not a problem. Like tits aren't going anywhere. Like you can see that. Like they're not swinging around. They are on there. And I, cause when I first got it, I was like, First of all, it has velvet straps, and I was like, okay, it's a sheer mesh. My tits are gonna fly everywhere. But when I got it on, I was like, oh wow, this feels so luxe, and it's so, so luxe. So if you are able to grab it, get it, let me know. I just think it's important to have underwear that makes you feel sexy, even if you are you know single or you have somebody like it's it's all about you and how you feel so that's usually what happens when i'm shopping for my underwear like how is this gonna make me feel do i feel sexy do i feel really good in this and that's really how i shop for my stuff so yeah the next thing from victoria's secret that i picked up that i was in love with and this is another long name 
I'll put up a picture of it as well so you guys can see it. They have a couple of colors in this. It is the Lacy Mid-Rise Thong Panty. Yes, it's a thong and it's a panty and it's mid-rise. However, the thing that stood out to me the most about this was that it was all over lace and that the waistline of it was high. So what that did was it held in the fupa and it just gave me this slimming effect. Holy cow, I was like, this is so nice. And it was comfortable. Pause, let me actually go and get it. So I had to go and get it to like, you can see it on the model, the photo of the model, but I have to show you how wide the band is. So do you see all of that? Like all of that is the band. And then this, the rest of this is the actual panty, right? The thong. So all of this, this goodness here, that's the band. Okay, so you can tell, like, that is gonna hold the fupa, okay? This is going to hold the fupa. It's not a flimsy lace. It has stretch, as you can see there, but it's not like that lace that's gonna be like, oh, it's gonna break. No, this is, this holds you in. And that's something that I truly, truly appreciated in this particular, like, thong. Like, I'm gonna get so many more of these. Like, do you see that? And I'm actually pulling. I'm pulling this so the the hole on this is really really great I had to get it to show you like I wasn't going to so if you're freaked out about seeing you know people's underwear then you could you know skip forward but I had to show you I had to show you okay moving on so skincare wise I've been doing a whole lot whole whole lot and my skin has been all the best for it the first thing I want to talk about is a lip thing that I have just been so obsessed with I have regular chapstick in my bathroom and I feel like that is not even doing it for me anymore after I started using this product. And this is by the pharmacy. It's their Honey Butter Beeswax Lip Balm. It's amazing. It's gorgeous. It, like, it's, it doesn't have a color to be gorgeous, but the formula is really nice. Like, it's not beeswaxy to the point where it's thick and it's gross. Like, it just really soothes and moisturizes your lips, especially if you've had a long day or if you just want something to hold you out through the night to make sure that your lips don't dry out. Grab this because I put this on right before I put on any lipstick, any gloss, and I am moisturized and fine throughout the day. If I eat, my lips don't get dry. Like this thing lasts a really long time, and Pharmacy did a really, really good, good, good thing with this. That honey blend that's going on with this, they did a really good job. Next up, I have the Physicians Formula. This is their Organic Wear Double Cleansing Oil. Now, I have been doing pretty good when it comes to cleansing my skin in terms of taking makeup off and stuff. And double cleansing has been like this thing for a little while. And I was always so scared to try it because if you're not new to my channel, then you, you probably know this. If you're new, then this is the first thing you're going to hear. I have acne prone, oily combination skin. So for me, cleansing is super duper important, but I was always weary of doing too much because I always felt that I would break out. Um, minus this guy right here, he's my monthly, he's gonna show up every single month, but I digress. This thing here, it has a rose hip and aloe vera in it, so it really soothed my skin. It took the makeup off, which is exactly what it's supposed to do. Makeup came melting right off. I think this is a great way to get introduced to oil cleansing if you are brand new to using an oil cleanser first and then going in with a regular, you know, normal face wash, I think this is a good drugstore way to start and this is how I started in it. I'm almost halfway. I've been using this now. I started using it at the middle of June and now it's the end of July and I have a good amount left. So I think this is a good bang for my buck. So I can definitely now branch out if I wanted to into other cleansing oils if I wanted to try, but I think Physicians Formula did a really good job um, with this one. I have no complaints. It has rosehip oil, chamomile, uh, aloe vera, cactus flower, jojoba oil, a lot of things that I would actually use and feel good about, I was super happy to see in this cleansing oil. So if you're looking for one from the drugstore, try the one from Physicians Formula. Next up in the skin front, I am almost done with this and I need to re-up and it's a toner. This one is by Ule Henriksen and I'm obsessed. This is his Glow 2 OH Dark Spot Toner. Huh? Huh? huh. Now the first time I used this, it burned. It burned the first time I used it. But after using it, like I use this every single night and every single morning, I have like the best time with my skin. Uh, when I put it on, I feel refreshed. I can feel it working and I feel like it's doing a really good job of helping me to get rid of a lot of my pigmentation that I have. It does have a high potency of AHAs. 
did I, yep, AHAs are in here. And um, they do a really good job of handling uh, any dry skin on my face, like getting all that stuff off. And I'm really, really happy with this. I need to re-up, this is a smaller bottle. This is just a 2.2 fluid ounce and it lasts me a really long time. So I know if I get a bigger bottle, it's gonna last me even longer, but I'm super stoked about this and it worked for me. Lastly, in the skin front, I have a oil that's been really, really good to me at nighttime. And I'm hoping when I put it on tonight that it's gonna handle this little visitor that I have right here. This is the Biosense Squalane and Tea Tree Balancing Oil. This is the smaller size. I have this from the little kit that I got. That's how long it lasted me. It lasted me a really long time. I always tell you guys, like during the sales and stuff, Get those kits because they last they're super bang for your buck right this is the 0.33 fluid ounce and i love using this morning and night but definitely during the night time if i have like maybe one or two breakouts by the morning or the next day when i put it on they've drastically like decreased like sometimes they're not completely gone but the the pain that's associated with it the redness is gone this thing is amazing like normally if you'd see me looking super duper glowy in the video chances are i have this underneath my makeup and that's how well it does it doesn't slip off doesn't slip around it just gives me this overall glow to my skin that my skin is healthy and vibrant and i love that about this but it's doing double duty and making sure that it like calms my skin and hydrates my skin so love this stuff so for beauty items i don't have that much makeup i'm shocked with myself <laughs> but i do have a lip product i'm wearing it right now and it's by bobby boss i have a sample but i'm going to get the bigger one because the sample has lasted me so long this is the bobby brown crush oil infused gloss in the shade slow jam Ugh. do you see how sexy this is this is so nice i'm not wearing a liner or anything i'm just wearing it this and it's so 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 pretty it's like this burgundy plum color it's amazing i don't need anything else but this it makes my lips look super juicy the whole time i'm wearing it it's not um, uncomfortable at all it's not runny it doesn't bleed it's just a really pretty set of pigments crushed in oil but it stays on the lips like it feels like a gloss but it's more comfortable than a gloss does that make sense like it's this it's just this i can't explain it you have to try it for yourself like it's it feels really really good on the lips super duper moisturizing bobby brown did a really good job with these i know they have other colors but i just decided to get this sample from sephora and i'm definitely going to get the bigger one um I would have waited <laughs> to show you guys when I got the bigger one, but I was like, whatever. They're gonna know that this is what this is and they need to see the color already before I go get the big one or before you guys go ahead and buy it out and I can't get one. So <laughs> I said, let me show you first, but it's gorgeous. If you can see it on me now, um, I love this and I definitely need to get more. It, again, it's a crushed oil infused gloss and it's, it's really, really beautiful. Next up in the beauty department, I would have to say I've been obsessed with these nails. These are by Kiss Beauty. I My drawer, I think I have like four or more. I cannot reach them. Can I reach them? No, I can't, but it's a whole lot. <laughs> I'm wearing a set now. Like it's, it's nuts. I just grabbed one more. Like they are in my drawer overflowing. Like Kiss, during this time when we can't go get our nails done, Kiss has saved us and all the other businesses that do like press our nails. You guys are like MVP right now, but I just grabbed for take towards the Kiss ones because they're in the drugstore, they're easy access. I can mop, like grab them online, and there are different colors that I think are really cool. They have different sizes. I don't have to worry about measuring or anything like that. Um, they have all the nails I need to go ahead and do my nails on my own, and the price is always right. So I really like the Gel Fantasy ones. Of course, Kiss has a ton of other nails, but I like the Gel Fantasy ones because um. I can get like different colors and you know they have the pointy one they don't have like the what do you call it the coffin shape I'm, I'm wearing this like baby blue one that i found in the drugstore i've got orange one like, i had purple ones i had like these brown ones like i really really like that so i swap them out on a weekly basis and um they're they're pretty pretty good the price is right like i said they're probably cost me like 10 bucks a box and i'm good to go i used reuse them about twice um, depending on if when it falls off like if is it usable like is there too much glue caked under it or whatever 
but yeah they have been a saving grace for me and they've kept my nails alive and just making me feel super duper feminine and when we can get our nails done again i will be there but for right now these kiss gel fantasy nails have really really been saving me and let me know if you've been using press-ons as well I do have one food item that i want to share with you guys and if you follow me on my blog channel i think i talked about uh, my migraines so if you don't know i do I, I used to get a lot of migraines i had chronic migraines like i would be basically incapacitated for like days um couldn't be in front of light sound all of that like i was super duper sensitive and i switched out my diet changed up a whole lot of things uh figured out what a lot of my triggers were and that really helped me and i love like a good latte a good hazelnut coffee that kind of thing and creamer is always a big deal for me and creamer is creamer like cows and stuff right chock full of sugar and all that stuff so i was really on the hunt for a new creamer and i found this one and it's by laird or lot i really hope i'm saying this right I'll, I'll spell it out and stuff down in the description box but it's the superfood or superfood creamer the original one and let me read the ingredients to you because ingredients have become like super duper huge for me the ingredients in this is coconut milk powder organic coconut sugar aquamim tm which is calcium form of marine algae organic extra virgin coconut oil that's it that is it and when i saw that i was like uh not sure what's gonna happen here but it's really really good guys the coconut doesn't really come through it allows for the coffee whatever you're drinking to shine through but you do get a hint of that coconut just a little bit like if you're really trying to smell it you can smell it like especially on its own but it smells really really good it doesn't disrupt to me the flavor of what i'm drinking but i really really like this so if you're like me and you're looking for something that's naturally really good um has like no artificial flavors has no um how do you say like no uh dairy to it uh that's plant-based then i would say go for this i started to venture into coconut stuff um, if you watch our vlog channel a ways back like probably i think that was like 2017 when i did like coconut nectar like i was trying to find syrups and stuff like just trying to make things different and get away from dairy i can't even do almond milk guys like i'm off of that like that was an actual trigger for me so i was shocked that i couldn't do that but this coconut stuff amazing it is a powder form so it's not um how do you say like a um like any liquid or anything like that but i really really like this it does a good job of giving me energy too but i i think this is great it's vegan it's dairy free non-gmo go ahead and check it out if you're looking for a new non-dairy plant-based creamer last but not least i have some tv and a music favorites i don't think i've ever done that on this channel but i have been obsessed with it i have watched the thing in its entirety the teddy pendergrass documentary it comes on showtime and i was so shocked because i love his music and i didn't know that he uh got in a car accident um i didn't know a whole lot of things about his music like i love to watch that behind the scenes of how things used to go back in the day and it's super duper interesting so go ahead and watch especially if you're a teddy pendergrass fan or if you liked music from back then that time um that 60s 70s type of vibe that's me <laughs> i i was really really intrigued by his documentary his life that even after he got his car accident and he was um you know crippled from like basically the waist down he was still able to sing and make music and i thought that was so so cool um so yeah if you want to watch that story is really really inspiring and the album that i have been obsessed with this month has to be by kilani she came back with like a force guys the album is called um it was good until it wasn't and there are a couple of songs i do have my spotify pulled up i don't want to play them because i don't want to get flagged but the ones that i love i'm just gonna pick two just i don't this video is probably super long by now uh bad news and change your life so listen to those two uh if you can if you have spotify uh or even like i guess she's probably on um Apple Music too. But yeah, if you've got time, just check her album out. Um, I'm I'm obsessed. Like, she did a really, really, really good job on that album. I really love the vibe, the sound, 
the the songs in it toxic is really good too so just go ahead and listen to her album if if you're down for that and and if you just want to hear some music that's really really nice and that's basically about relationships and just being your own woman you know i think that was the essence of that entire album and i love it i had that on repeat one day i was cleaning up and I listened to the whole thing <laughs> all of it i really liked it but yeah you guys that is it i think i went through my list and that is all of it that are all my favorites my alex adores things i've been adoring this month in july let me know down in the comment section if any of these things resonate with you if you've been using any of them if you're going to pick up any of them do let me know down in the comment section and i will see you guys in my next video really really soon Mwah. bye